So my topic today is around um, driving relentless positivity within an SDR team um, as an SDR manager. So, you know, it goes without saying that the SDR role is tough, right? It's, um, it's tough in a non-pandemic environment and it's even tougher today. So as an SDR manager, we have a, we have a responsibility to um, build the foundations, the systems, the processes, and of course, the mindsets that allow our teams to succeed. And I think relentless positivity plays a huge part in that. So I've broken it down into four areas, which I'm going to be talking about today. And firstly, um, I'm going to be talking about influencing a company-wide culture that drives the right SDR mindset and values. So what I mean by that is we need to influence a company vision that you know, the SDR team is the backbone and the foundation to the company growth and success. We, I think we need to celebrate um, and respect the SDR role because, you know, the company will have full visibility of successes, wins and, and impact, of course. So we provide company-wide visibility of SDR and sales team metrics, numbers, um, and, and driving company-wide enthusiasm and support for the SDR activity. Now, we need to show the SDR impact to the wider business. We like to refer to our SDR team as the engine of the organization. So with the above in mind, we start building into the SDRs that, you know, they're incredibly important. The work that they do has such an impact to the organization. And in turn, of course, you'll see an increase in buy-in, confidence um, and enjoyment within the role. Um, second point is understanding SDR drivers. So we understand what makes each individual tick. So, you know, we can't just expect because SDRs are salespeople, that the only thing that infuses them is money. You know, some SDRs are motivated by progression, others responsibility, others looking for an AE role or, or SDR manager role. So we have to truly understand each person, allowing us to set specific progression routes um, and, and goals for each individual, okay? So let's build a tiered system for SDR progression, for example. So we know that the SDR to AE role, uh, the, SDR, the SDR to AE step up is, a, you know, it's a, it's a massive step in the fact that it takes time. So let's build levels of progression within the SDR role. So what we have is a clear structure that allows for true visibility, transparency around what needs to be achieved to, to actually reach that next tier. Um, so with each tier, it might come, to, it might come additional pay, uh, responsibility, commission. Um, so again, what the above means is that collectively, you have a motivated team of SDRs always working towards the next level up. So the key here is the fact that they know exactly what they need to achieve to get to that next level. Um, third point is around mindset, uh, mindset a bit of uh, crossover with Sean's talk, but when building and maintaining a high performing SDR team, mindset is absolutely key. So mindset in, in certainly mine is something that, that comes from the top down. So as an SDR manager, we have to leave from the front here. So there's no hiding from the fact that an SDR role is tough. So let's focus on how we keep the motivation as high as possible as much of the time. So we need to stop focusing on the end goal. I've seen so many um, sales teams putting this massive em emphasis on, on that yes, um, that meeting booked, that, that decision maker saying yes, but let's actually break that down. Let's focus on having a conversation. So our mindset needs to be that, you know, each call, um, each email chain, each LinkedIn conversation is an opportunity to extract some really vital information about your prospect and his or her business. So if we get a no, you know, what can we learn from that? Why weren't they interested? What was it that you said that effectively put them off? Or, you know, we've engaged with the senior decision maker here. They've opened up, they've given you X, they've given you Y, they've given you Z, let's take that as a win. So by focusing on the yeses so much, we actually forget to have that normal human to human conversation. We forget to write the, uh, we forget to ask the right questions and it's so easy to get yourself in a rut. Um, a rut is what I refer to as a series of no's and it's really hard to get yourself out of that. Um, we used to run an incentive, um, as weird as it sounds, whereby we actually uh, celebrated the no's. So um, I had an SDR join, join our team years ago and for the first three months of her role, she really struggled. So she saw her teammates around her getting yeses, you know, everyone was booking meetings and she put so much focus on getting that yes, because naturally, you know, we all want that yes, that, that's our job, right? But we worked with her to incentivize her through the nose and we celebrated the not interest. And suddenly her emphasis on that yes changed. And just like that, her meetings, meetings started coming through. Um, her focus was now to have a conversation and not look for the yes on every call. Um, so lastly, I'm gonna talk about leading from the front as an SDR manager. I call it the captain's mentality. So let's treat an SDR manager as um, a captain of say, you know, a rugby team or a football team. Typically within those teams, 
the captain responsibility in the role isn't necessarily the best player on the field or the pitch, but their mentality will be very much first in, first out, right? So they'll perform best practice all the time. Their mindset is key to the team's success. Um, they are the source of motivation. They are the source of positivity throughout that team and probably the most level-headed member of the team. And of course, they understand their teammates and they play to each of their successes, which is a hugely important factor in driving a high-performing sales team. So we can replicate this with the SDR manager role. So from the off, my mindset has always been, you know, let's get this done together. And I'd never ask something of my SDRs that I wouldn't personally do, whether that's in a cold call, a, a follow-up, a meeting, or even trying something new when it, when it comes to conducting cold outreach, um, for example. So we need to practice what we preach in terms of structure, systems, processes, leading from the front and expecting our team to follow. And finally, you know, we don't expect the best metrics and results from an SDR manager. What we are expecting is that we guide them, we coach them, um, we lead from the front and we build and create a, a high performing culture and environment within that team. Uh, thank you very much.